Hey guys, check it out. We got the DX Chungoki BF one seven one EX Armor Nightmare Plus EX. Yes, this is the revived version of it. And as you guys can see here, January 2024 is going to be the release date and the pricing 28,000 yen. Of course, I have to add the 10%. So if we add the 10%, I think it was 33,000 yen. So that is around. Yeah. Give me a second here. It should be around 260 US dollars. Um, actually, oh, 28,000 is 192. So, yeah, around that price range. You know, shipping, handling, all that stuff is gonna go up a bit. So, they just don't expect to pay under 200 for it. Um, it looks great. I gotta say it looks great. Now obviously the big difference here this one comes with the armor because they have already released this brand from Chugoki but uh, this one has the armor on it you can see here uh, in the little missile pods and you can see the armor on the legs. Looks great. I love that gear walk mode. That, that looks so darn nice because the design the actual plane that looks awesome. 11.8 inches tall or long and here you can see it with that beautiful design that it has on it man that looks great now the thing is that they don't show you well at least with these pictures here there is no picture of it in Plane mode with the armor on it, sadly, as you guys can see here. So these are all the accessories you're gonna get for it. And you have two beam rifles, you have the missile pod, you have all the armor, the little missiles and everything, which is pretty cool. Here you can see what it's gonna look like with the Batroy mode. Which I'm guessing this is why well I'm pretty sure there's pictures of what it's gonna look like. You know with it with the armor on but as you guys can see here from what I can tell at least looks like um, the armor doesn't go anywhere on the chest it looks like it's just gonna be on the shoulders and on the legs looks like it's gonna be mostly in those areas from what I can see here yeah this is clear for the legs, this is clear for the legs, yeah, it's not a lot, but this guy, like I said, this guy looks great, it's like, look, especially that fire mode, this fire mode looks awesome. Um, the bathroom, like I said, is expensive, um, not a P-Bandai, but darn, it's the price point, that price point is the big kicker here um, other than that I, I think this is gonna be pretty cool pretty solid man um, <laughs> I wish I could get it but uh, it's a little bit too close for me yeah if it was in January and let's say it was like May then yeah but nah, nah, nah. Not now, you know, but let me check this other website to see um, because they did have it before, so we might see some other images here. Oh, yeah, there they are. Here are the full images. So, yeah, uh, let's go over the specs. Um, as you guys can see, diecast ABS 11.7 inches. Okay, and this is what it looks like with the armor on when it's in battery mode so as you guys can see here the, mar the armor is mostly gonna be here on the legs here on the chest and the rest is just you know weapons 
which is great. Look at that. Oh, so this is the fire mode with the weapons on it. That is awesome. I love that. That looks great. This looks great. Let's get up here, a closer look at it. Oh, I like that it has the little cannons here. That's so cool. That. Yeah. It's great, great. I love this battle mode. I, I really like it. I really, really need to go check that out. Ooh, thrusters look good. That out. Yeah. It, it, it just looks great. This design is so darn good. This the stand for it. Great. Thick list stand. Which is a must. Something like this has to have a ridiculous stand, like the YF-19, the high grade, they make the mistake of not having the stand for it, but luckily, since I do own different high grades and master grades, um, I have an action basis, plenty of them, so I was able to actually, you know, display the way I wanted to display, but if you don't have that, then you know, it's just gonna be a plane just staying there unless you use, you know, you can use some fishing wire and stuff, but honestly, why do you want to wire this thing? Well, this thing uh, on a stand will give you all the poses that you want in both robot, girl walk, and in the fighter mode. I mean, this thing is pretty much perfect um, for the stand. So, yeah guys, um, that does it for this video, remember it's a standard release, so yeah, people are going to be going crazy for it. I believe the pre-order date is, is the 25th, is basically, yeah, it should be tonight, 12am, buy out wherever you're buying your figures from, have it up. And it's expensive. I'd love to get my hands on it. That's for sure. So that's gonna be this is gonna be pretty cool, you know. It's gonna be pretty special. But also remember that we have the DX Chungoki YF21 coming out as well. So we'll have to wait and see because well I'm gonna have to get a YF21, obviously, but might have just to pull the trigger on that one instead of this one. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, hopefully the YF21, you're able to switch out big parts. Because you know the YF21 basically can transform into the high maneuvering mode. So I wonder how they're going to do that. Um, unless they're planning on selling us two different versions of it. But we'll see. We'll see what happens and we still don't know what happened to the high grade YF21 we're still waiting on that so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time